Behind me here is life-saving aid for the besieged Gaza Strip, which the UN has warned is on the verge of an abyss. We're on the ground here in the city of Arish in Egypt's Sinai Peninsula, just 50 kilometers away from the Rafah border crossing. On the other side of that crossing, more than two million Palestinians are facing a life or death situation. Under normal circumstances, this area functions simply as a populated desert region. But now, this is the focal point of catastrophic events that have gripped the world. Earlier this week, Israel cut off water, electricity, and food supplies as imposed a dangerous siege on millions of civilians. Days later, it ordered more than one million to flee the north of Gaza within just 24 hours. Then, it bombed those who opted to move. The events of last week have triggered outrage worldwide and desperate calls by Palestinians are slowly being heard. Today, Qatar's Lakhwia forces have delivered 37 tons of aid, including food and medicine, to Egypt, where the world is eagerly waiting a deal that would allow the aid through. Based on His Highness in Instruction, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, uh, today we started the first plane to our brothers in Gaza, and the first plane uh, have included uh, medical supplies and food items regarding the, the victims' people here. Uh, and inshallah we'll continue the air bridge for the next uh, few days regarding the instruction of his uh, highness منذ بدايه الازمه الفلسطينيه كان في تنسيق بصفه دايمه مع الهلال الاحمر القطري لتوفير احتياجات الهلال الاحمر الفلسطيني وبالفعل تم توفير زي ما النهارده كده شفنا القطر جاب وصلت النهارده طيارتين ولسه ان شاء الله خلال الفتره الجايه اعتقد في كمان مزيد من الطيارات Qatar officials have voiced that this is a mission of importance as signs of an Israeli massive mobilization for a potential ground invasion of Gaza has sparked concern. Qatar has been rallying to flex its diplomatic muscles in a bid to de-escalate the situation and avoid a potential regional flare-up. But while diplomats engage in talks to stop a scenario, Palestinians are in dire need of food, water, and urgent medical care. Mohammed Al-Tayb, Doha News, Al-Arish Airport.